Hi, I'm Joe Ciccarelli, and I'm here at the legendary Sunset Sound Studios overdubbing guitars with the legendary Tim Pierce, stellar session guitar player. We're working on Jason Mraz's new album. And one of the luxuries we have here at Sunset Sound is an amazing custom-built API mixing console. Oftentimes, I'm not in studios that have mixing consoles that don't give me the luxury of putting together all my guitar mics in the balance that I want between the close and far mics. A lot of times I'm working in the box solely, somebody's home studio. I don't have a mixing console. The one thing I do have is the radial workhorse 500 series rack that will allow me to mix together all my guitar mics just in the right combination that I want. So what I've done is I've loaded this rack with my favorite pre's and EQ's. They're all coming up on the mixer. So basically the workhorse section of this is indeed a mixing console and it's going to allow me to mix together all my favorite preamps with EQ's or compression or whatever other effects I want. The one unique feature of the workhorse is something called the feed switch. Basically it allows you to cascade one module into the next. So for instance in this case I have the preamps connected directly to my EQ's via the feed switch. So automatically this preamp is wired into this EQ, this preamp is wired into this EQ. So I don't need to patch it in, I don't need to assign it, it's just there in the chain. And then that chain is going to come up to my mixer and I'm going to blend things the way I want. Just as if uh, I were at an inline mixing console where everything was all set, patched, wired for me. An additional feature of the workhorse is the DB25 connector. Basically, with all radial modules, the wiring is all direct into the mixer. But other modules that were made some years ago, for instance old API modules, don't wire directly into the mixer. You need to use this DB25 cable that automatically brings them all up to the mixer. So it simplifies the mixing operation. Everything is there pre-wired for you. You can basically take all your old EQs and new preamps, mix them all together. So what we're going to be doing with Tim Pierce is taking these three microphones that are on his guitar amp, patch them through the radial workhorse, blend them all together to one track, just like I had a mixing console where I would do all my balances and EQs, it's all going to be done through the radio workhorse. Okay, so what I've done here is we're overdubbing guitars, and let's say we're at Tim's home studio and Tim doesn't have a mixing console. So right now, I've got my microphones that were on the console, my close SM57, my close Royer Ribbon, and my far U67 mic, and they all come up on the radial mixer. So I'm going to basically duplicate what I had going on the console all here in the mixer. Here's my close 57. Now I can blend in a little bit of the ribbon mic. And I can even blend in some of my distant mic. As I mentioned before, the one unique feature is the feed control. The switch that's in the back of the unit allows me to cascade modules into each other. And one thing I've done here is I've taken my U67 microphone on the guitar amp, I've fed it into an EQ, and then I've also fed it into this really unique module called an Ecstasy. And basically that is a reamp box, so to speak, that allows me to, at line level, feed into guitar boxes. So this gives me the ability to use a stomp box here in the control room if my guitar player is perhaps out in the studio but I want more control over it. So, but what I can do here is I can feed my microphone into a guitar box. I'll show you. We got a little tremolo delay effect here. And now in the control room I can basically have control over the stomp box levels. I can blend in my close mics and I can add the effects after the amp to my choosing. So I can get really clean punchy signals 
going into the guitar amp, not affected by the stomp box, and then just at the mixer here, through the ecstasy pedal, blend in my effects. <laughs>